uh, address the elephant in the room. Barcelona Unfortunately, um, we don't have the one person here to sort of validate uh, Arsenal's lack of going invincible this season. Yeah, obviously, so, uh, for people who are on, on, if you are new or if you didn't hear it, remember, new here. Theo did claim that Arsenal were going to go and beat him this season. Yeah, uh, and it hasn't happened because uh, Iriola's Bournemouth just... Iriola, one of old geezer. Just better than us, unfortunately. Uh, we, um, we went down to 10 men with the Saliba incident. Yes or no, red card. Um, By the letter of the law, yes. So, you know, the interesting thing about it, I thought it was going to be a red immediately. And then he got booked, and I thought, oh, that's all. Right. Mm, okay. And, and then VAR overturned it and upgraded yeah. it to a red. I just think Ben White was too far away. They had to in yeah. the end. Very different to the um, uh, Colwell incident. Cole yeah. yesterday, yeah. Because... No, was it Colwell? Tosin. Tosin, sorry, because oh, Colwell was next to him. Uh, that yeah, was that was it. Colwell was right by them, yeah, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah so that, yeah. that's why that wasn't a red. But yeah, you were. Um, I thought underwhelming. Yeah, very we'll underwhelming. Flat anyway, but I, I, you didn't really create much. Yeah. Uh, it, I mean, it, it, that's the curse of lacking our most creative person for this season. So yeah, far. that midfield doesn't work, does it? Rice, Marino, and Party. That oh, is, I meant Saka. That, but, oh, sorry, I thought but, he was on about Erdegaard. But, well, yeah, uh, that too. I mean, it, but we've we've been playing all right without him. Yeah, the difference. But like without Saka, we just it, we seem so toothless. And, and Bournemouth, Bournemouth are a good side, mate. That's a tough place to go. They I, are. I, you definitely. I mean, I know obviously Lewis is a chief knobhead so he's put here that Arsenal have bottled it they haven't bottled the Premier League well, Arsenal are still in the title race they've lost one game with 10 we men we all away agreed from if Arsenal lose once Man City are going to win when? a few weeks ago no we didn't yeah we did you did were there just make but things you, up but, but, the, but the interesting thing about that is they're no longer the front runners for the Premier League as it stands. I no, told you are. Liverpool were coming. They, they have in built I mean, balls. I mean, as you look visually on the table. They, Liverpool, Liverpool weren't great yesterday, though. Yeah, but they have balls. They'll get a, they don't bottle it. Like well, are we back if we beat Liverpool at home next week or not? No, because what, what, you get what, a red what, what, card what? every other game. Right, so <laughs> so when Liverpool lost to Forest, that wasn't bottling it? No, because Liverpool can't bottle because they weren't expected to be in the title challenge this year. You can't put your head down. They weren't. They were uh, going after Klopp, who's been there for ages. You've seen what happened to Arsenal and Man United after a manager who's been there a long time. He's doing a good job I, to I, even I, in the I, top I, four. I, I get it a little bit because obviously we've gone round as a hang general on, consensus. We, we, no, 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 because I'm, I'm going to break his point now. Uh, as a general consensus of the table, we've said that Arsenal are going to win the Premier League as we started the season, right? I but no, the table, the, the important people. <laughs> uh, but the... Um, but the consensus for both Liverpool, Arsenal and Man City as football clubs is they probably should win the title. Yeah. So much so that you put Liverpool second in yeah. yours. You didn't even give Arsenal the credit of finishing Because they have balls. Three. They have a worse team and a manager, and a manager who's new. I don't and think they, they have got a worse team if you could play for player. No, I think they do. They really don't. So, so in one breath you say that, but then in the other breath you say Arsenal oh, are going to finish fourth and they're bottlers and they're shit. Yeah, because yeah. that's why they're going to finish fourth because they fucking lose to Bournemouth. So, so, so let's go play. Right. Yeah, no. You can't have both sides. You can't be like, yeah. I'm right on this side. Yeah. But you, when you, I'm you, yeah. right. You've dropped seven points from pure red cards in 10 games. Right. That's crazy. And they're still third. And in yeah. the title and charge. This, this is why they won't race. be winning the league. I'm telling you, they're not going to. They've done it for the they're, last two Arsenal seasons. Arsenal may not win the league, but your points, but, don't, your, your but points contradict saying, themselves. I can't say the bottlers. They bottled the last two seasons. When How many times do they have to bottle the title for me to then be allowed <laughs> no, but you, to call no, them but now, No, I get it. I get. Uh, you can have the last two years because we've done that a thousand times, but you can't just write bottle every time we lose a game. That's what, this what is annoying. It's such a lazy, just put it's loss. Such a lazy just argument. Just write loss. Mm. Arsenal lose. Wow, <laughs> fuck. It happens in football. Crap. Not look. again. Not for Arsenal against Bournemouth and getting a red card. I think your players are just way too excited at the moment. And you're like, yeah, we're going to get them. And you're just fucking getting sent off every other game. It's pathetic. You it make is. Out, you make out of the red cards a lot. They're punching people in yeah, the face. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, I, not I, this, I, I'd rather that. This is just but stupidity. Like, it, 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 no one's going around kicking yeah. in the chest. I know, mate. but it's, it's, stu just... it's stupid decisions. It's stupidity. Like Saliba, he could have tracked back and tried. Gavardi all had a similar situation where he tracked back, out-muscled out -muscled him, and now he put him off with a shot. Gavardiol, City game. I, think he, I don't know, I can't remember who was running through. But... Are you on the Wall City game? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were on about City Arsenal. No, I was like, what are you on about? No, but I mean, Sleeve had a whole, he's a fairly pacey lad as well. He has a whole half, but no, he's going to take him down and get a red and fuck the game. I actually think, I don't think Saliba intended to... No, he, definitely he, not. He got, Evan Ilsen got in front of him and he was just under him. It wasn't, obviously it's a foul, but I don't think there was intent. Yeah. He wasn't trying to drag him down or... 
He just happened when he was there and he just bundled into him. It's not... But I'm saying that there's a halfway line sprint. I understand you want to put an end to it through here, but there wasn't like... He had time no, but to I, I don't think there. Saliba's intent... It, 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 just hap it, it just happened that way. <laughs> Evan Ilsen got in front of him and he was just he just bundled into him. It wasn't a conscious decision to drag him down on the edge of the, on, on the halfway line. Saliba would have backed his pace to get to the ball first, I think. It was just, it just yeah. happened quick and it was... I'll give you the Royce one, that was silly, and the Trossard one, they're silly, stupid red cards, but I think that's harsh on Saliba to say he's, like... He's been an idiot. Yeah, yeah. It's just sort of becoming a trend where you just keep getting red cards. So he was a huge miss. You're missing him for Liverpool now. Yep. It's like, but it, no, but, but, yeah, but he is. But th that's why they brought Calafiori in. Like, I, they, I don't want to hear excuses about Saliba next week if Arsenal lose. Like, yeah, well, no, oh, the, 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 it just doesn't help. Them, the drop off of when he was out prior was Rob Holding. Yeah. Now it's like still another. You'll be. 40, you should be fine. Million pound player that. It's just not. Idea. It, like you want to keep all your players available. Mm. Like injuries, the only excuses, and red cards. It's get, that's where it gets a bit. Well, I mean, like, we fucking... did have pretty big injuries against Bournemouth. Not to mm. you know yeah. credit them because they were they were great. Their two we best were, players weren't playing. We but... were flat, but like on. Oh, here we go. Oh, we, no, here we go. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the man who banged on about injuries every week. But there's a difference between Arsenal having a couple injured players against Bournemouth. A couple injured players. Their two best players are out. Arsenal's bench is better than Bournemouth. Like Arsenal are fighting at the top of the table. You can't be citing injuries do when you, you've lost you, two you know nil to you, Bournemouth. You know when you lose Isaac, is that a big loss for you? If, do you know what? If I cited injuries to losing to Bournemouth, you used to be jumping down my throat. I wouldn't. Yes, you fucking I would. would. I'm not citing injuries to their loss. It's a, Arsenal were terrible the weekend. Yeah, we were flat even after the record, before and after the red card. We were it's got nothing to do with injuries. But there you go. <laughs> He's right, bringing up injuries. We shouldn't be talking about injuries when Arsenal play in Bournemouth. That should never but, be a thing. But uh, Unless you were missing I mean, it, it kind of kind of should be. A little bit away from home, losing yeah, it's, our it's, two it's, most it, creative players in a game where we actually need creativity. Yeah. I and mean, that's, that's kind of a key point, a little bit. Why are you giggling at that? I'm, I'm not giggling, I sigh. Who but should like I... It's like Man, City, Man City lose Roger and Kevin De Bruyne and they look bang average. Yeah, yeah but they like, get the points anyways and they don't cite it as excuses. They okay, don't. Mate, it's yeah. just like you're, yeah. you're playing Bournemouth and you're citing two injuries. You're Arsenal. Like I feel like you hold yourself at a lower standard than what you <sighs> should. Like you are the team that's challenging Man Any City. Any team that loses their two best creative players, it's probably he's probably going to struggle to create. Who came in instead? Their, their midfield was Marino, Party, and uh, Royce. That is not a creative midfield. We had, we had Sterling. We had Sterling playing in. And Sterling had to go off because of Saliba. Yeah, no, I don't know, man. You still have a easily creative enough team. You've got Sterling. You've got Martinelli on there. It was Saka injured for it, wasn't he? Yeah, that's but yeah, what, they're the two the players. Did you even watch mate, the game? Bakaya Saka. You didn't watch the game, did you? Yeah, yeah, did. You didn't watch the game. He didn't watch. Why are you even talking? I'm not even on the pod. Why are you talking? So when we were saying the two most important. Players, who do you think we're? You still thought there? Saka played? No, I said Saka was off, wasn't he? No. You have to, yeah. Inconclusive, oh <laughs> mate. You. You're, what's the point of this conversation? Matter. I know you're involved. trying to rattle when you say stuff. I'm not like trying that. to rattle anyone. I'm saying if but I when, said when we say when we say the two most creative players aren't playing, who does that imply to you? Erdegaard and Saka. Yeah, there you go. Well done. <laughs> there you yeah. go. So, why are you asking if Saka played? I didn't know if he started, like, came off no, injured or something. No, I just no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, no, no. You, you watch the game. Is, you know for a fact, Tom, if I was in that position, I cited Newcastle having some injured players against Bournemouth, you'd be rinsing it. No, so I'd don't laugh at you. Exactly. Laugh, yeah. But he says it he's about not Arsenal. He's not blaming the loss I've, on it. I've, I've, even if I fucking... I prefaced with the fact that Bournemouth were better than us and we deserve to lose that game. Yeah, but, but, I don't know what this argument is. But it could be a different result if our best players were playing. It could be a different... I'll tell you what, it could be a different result if Martin only could just score goal as well he's so hit and miss man some games he looks like Martinelli of two seasons ago and, and others he just yeah, he's kind of a barn door man I think just no confidence I don't understand it yeah I, I think January you need an, either a, I, I'd start Sterling over Martinelli personally and then I'd go and get a striker because I don't think I still don't think Havertz is, is the one but yeah I just think you flip, we can't just keep going I back know, to this you, flip you, you were saying well. that you, he is the you, one before you, you turned the other week no and I said, said he was... he's not as shit as I thought he was oh, right, okay. but he's still shit <laughs> no he's average he's average well oh, we've got January I, I, so. I've maintained I think you'll, any team will struggle to win a title with Havertz as you know when I just you say he's think... average like who's he on par with then? like who's other players <laughs> um, who's, in his, who's in his category of averageness 
I'd, I'd say I'd say Havertz is like the eighth best stroke in the league, like ninth, something like that. But well, that's where I actually put him. Yeah. But like, uh, but, but what he's asking is, like, I'd prefer, yeah, like uh, which players are on his abilities. So I'd prefer have... like a Hoyland in the nine than Havertz personally. Is, is, is Mateta better than him? Or do you nah, that not Mateta. Same... Yeah, I'd say I'd say Havertz is probably better than Mateta. Mateta's been shit only this, he season, been but... this season. Well, I, ain't I told you they should have sold him whilst he was like our premium. He was a, he was in his little um, Almiron phase. Boom, 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 he was always going to fall off. Mateta's in the room, um, but there well, ain't they, no they striker better now, than John. It's not Eddie now. Yeah, they, they're playing tonight. Yeah, so yeah. when we do team of the week, like I don't cry if we've missed out any Palace or Forest, Forest players because. Yeah. Um, but no, uh, just to f- finalise the topic of Arsenal Bournemouth, or we'll play Bournemouth, I thought, you know. Really good they, they set won- piece. Yeah, mate, that Christie finish is actually. Ryan Christie's uh, quality, man. Yeah. He's so good. But he came on, right? Yeah, yeah, come on. Yeah. Come on, like they just have to. <coughs> they made like a triple sub, didn't they? Like the 63rd or something. Yeah, like and both, both um, boys scored. Clive Sem- and... Semenyo had a good chance as well. He, he, yeah. I think it was a fair result. No, it, it was, was definitely uh, a fair it was. result. I'm, I'm not against. You know, just admitting when we were the worst team. And but. if you, I mean, not being able to score against Kepa is pretty fucking embarrassing because he, he is actually sh- a really good save yeah. as well. He, would also try, he tried to give you a goal as well. <laughs> yeah. But that's just part and parcel of what Kepa does. Isn't yeah. It, really? Is Kepa actually maybe just good? No. Okay. He's uh, so bad. I mean, he's good enough to start for a middle of the table Premier League team. So he's not awful. No, he's, he's so bad. But he's a good shot stopper. Is he? He actually isn't. From long distance, from long distance, he's terrible. Yeah, How much did he been originally right go for? Eighty million was that it? I can't yeah, remember. from uh, uh, Bill Bow on it. Or... It's mental. Was it Bill Bow? No, was that from Madrid to Chelsea from eight years ago? No, but no, Kepa's shit. No, it's just crazy to think that's how much he went for. Until, yeah, he was like, the most expensive now. goalkeeper in the world at that point. He still that? is. Does oh, that yeah, Martinelli chance not just keep you up at night thinking it's him against Kepa? That and you could have went on easily to shut up shop and you would have got three points and that would be a point you look back at throughout the season thinking, yeah, we clutched that up there. Yeah, right, like fucking... you'd be saying yeah, that. Yeah, if Boston maybe you talk phone. some shit, you do. Is that just yeah. like, the, I think that's the difference between Arsenal and Man City, man. Man City go and grab the last minute winner, use Chalker. They fucking concede first every game. What are you <laughs> talking about? Yeah, but Man City rise, got stoppage time winners, steal the three points. some chances as well. Yeah, like, steal the three points. They look, mate, City look gettable in transition. Well, why didn't they beat you then? Why didn't they beat and you? That's the di- well, Newcastle's a hard game. Yeah, it? brilliant. There we go. It is a hard game. What are you talking it's about? It's in James's Park. It's hard. Okay. Yeah. Go on, mate. Yeah, we're we were Brighton undefeated before really, the other day. Really we were undefeated Brighton. in like 15 Brighton, games. Yeah, Brighton, they they Brighton, found Brighton, it really hard. Brighton yeah, really well, struggled. First team 15 games or yeah, something. Yeah, okay. Oh, you know, right? Anyway, should we discuss, uh, you know, Pep just doing it as per usual again, brings on Friday. Johnny Stones, okay. man. Johnny Stones, he's got that clutch gene. Is it, sh- should that incident have as much discourse around no, it as it's it the deserves. Most, no, it's the most non... Co- like, I can't word? believe it's even gone to a screen Neither for can an I. assessment. It's ridiculous. Even, Bernard, even if Bernardo Silva was jumping up, you can still see over him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's not even fucking it, it, small. It, yeah, right? I mean, it, it, it's it, it, classic it, of me to be in the camp of Man City again it here. It is, but, yeah. You're but, but, no, you're being not, real. You're but being... he's not even in... <laughs> He's not even in line. Yeah, he, he hasn't he impeded well, he him in off. any way, shape, or form whatsoever. Yeah. Saw still had a f- clear view of it. It didn't affect anything. No, it's a goal. Yeah. It's pretty it's so simple. I can't. I, I can't believe he went to the screen. I yeah, literally yeah, couldn't. Yeah. I, I was in or, um, in <coughs> total disbelief. But fair play to the ref for still give still yeah. sticking well, to the, his decision. The, with the ori- I thought no. I thought the original on-field decision was no. He gave the goal, and then they said go and check. Oh really? Yeah, and then he went. But and we, checked. we, the thing is, the issue is, I, I watched the highlights back. We watched it on silence. So I sound, thought yeah. it was disallowed, no, no, and then no. he went and overturned it. No, no, no. It. he didn't disallow. He gave it right, and they said it's offside. That they said sense. go and check for potential that, offside. Yeah, exactly. That's what he had some bollocks yeah. to do that. Because again, they must be in his ear going, "We think this week," as they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for him to go, it's already no, a leading, no, a leading yeah, question exactly, as soon as exactly. send over. But um, Wolves may never win another game, which is really sad. They'll win another game. They'll probably really win this sad. weekend, won't they? Will Wolves win a game before Christmas? Yes. I happily take that bet. There are some shit teams in yeah. this Premier League. Now I th- Wolves will be fine, to be fair, but they looked a lot better defensively the weekend, but. City, um, that, well, they're creating stuff as always, but their goal but, was lovely, yeah. Well. That, that ball from Tomato is but there was too many. There was amazing. too, I, I still think City in transition without Rodri look, yep, get a ball. Man, there was one instance in the second half where they, I can't remember who got the ball for Wolves, and they played like a one two, and they were literally by, on the edge of City's box in like five seconds. Yeah. And I was like, there's no one even got near him, yeah. yeah and I think yeah. Cunha had a shot, but yeah. 
I think City. Just, oh yeah, that, I think they got a bit lucky, if I'm honest. 100%. Because they didn't really create much. Doku had a few... Uh, they did uh, had 17 corners, though, right? Yeah. Uh, so, um, I mean, you keep knocking on the door. And but they don't often score the direct from corners, someone was saying, because they often play short. Yeah. Or, um, but yeah. But I think they brought Foden on to just keep whipping a ball in and then hope someone will get on He's the He's got to start it. soon, hasn't he, Foden? Well, it's like, Southampton next for them. So yeah. I mean, if that's not going to be 5-0 plus... Then. Oh, and captain. Triple captain. Are you going to triple him? No. Oh. Um, but, how good is Guardiola, by the way? Fuck, mate. He, he can fucking so, eat the ball. At, at this point... Similar to his goal at Real Madrid. Let's see that. That's what I mean. At this point, do people not realise that he's obviously got a right foot as well? Yeah, I've... Um... Like the amount of time he cut in against you with his right. Yeah, he, he, scored, he scored the goal against you with his right foot. I mean, obviously, a different style. That's not style, hard, is yeah, it? Yeah, it's not very... <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's not hard, is it? But no. like it... A versatile the fucking Lewis all defending, back, yeah, Jesus. That has both feet. He, he might be the best left back in the league. Well, he is, isn't he? Pro- well, or in Europe, possibly. Yeah. I can't. Uh, well, who's up there with him? I mean, well, in Europe? Yeah. Uh, Teo Hernandez? I, I think Vardial's better. No, but I'm, he's asking. Yeah. I, I think Vardial's better. Nuno Mange? Nuno Mange is fucking. Fabio Contral? <laughs> Contra? You don't know who that is, do you? Yeah, he's fucking oh, old Real Madrid. <laughs> what? Old Real Madrid. Oh. How about Jose Enrique? He's a fucking dickhead. <laughs> anyway, yeah, uh, yeah. I think there's not much to say about the Wolves. City do, you, game. Do, you, do you think City were clicking? And obviously, uh, they're, they're winning games. So, well, by yours, uh, so it doesn't really matter. And us actually, uh, so it doesn't really matter. But like, are they going to click into a different gear at this point? I think without to, Rodri, or? no, no. I, I, is, it, is this their, their level for the season? Then? I think they're just. I think they're going to keep conceding goals, and probably they've got enough quality to get out of it, but. I'd be a little bit worried if I was a City fan. Even with, even with the return of yeah, De Bruyne, etc. Yeah, I don't think De Bruyne. I don't think De Bruyne stops their issues. Yeah, they're, they're two get like if Wolves. Wolves well, are Gu- Gu- Gundogan as great as he's been for the club. He's not the same has been player, is he? Very poor this. Season. He's not the same player. No. I don't think. Um, De Bruyne doesn't stop them being so gettable in transition. No, he just offers another strength to the bone. He just offers attack, another. Yeah, uh, yeah, another. Um, but they're trying to play that. They're trying to play Rico Lewis in that extra. I know, but centre mid role now, aren't they? And he's brilliant. Rico Lewis is excellent, but he's not Rodri. No, it's such a big, like it's such Just a big, big hole when Rodri's not there. It's a huge season for Kovacic, really, isn't it? It'd be interesting. Yeah. I, I really want to see how Liverpool do against them. Because do you think this is going to be the longest going title race? For the last few seasons, uh, it, cause, cause they, it kind it, of dropped off in the last yeah, two years, yeah, didn't it? Know, towards the it, end, previous uh, two years, it's been like four or five games. It's kind of been conclusive at that point. I'd anyway. say yeah. Uh, uh, Do you think it'll go down to the final day? I hope so. When was the last time that happened? Was that? Oh, that was the City one. Twelve. Wasn't it? Maguire, no. wasn't it? No, City Liverpool when Gund- when they went two oh, yeah, down yeah, against yeah. Villa. Against Villa. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. You're right. You're right. Uh, uh, that was a yeah. few years ago, wasn't it? Yeah. But. No, I mean, I mean, yeah, we're only what nine games in. I don't know, but 